right, hey, welcome back to New Boston Van Works. Today we're gonna to be digging into the van, removing the door panels, removing the flooring. And then I'm gonna show you how to use CNC to create a insulated subframe for your flooring. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, the floor's out, that was easy enough. Um, pulled out the panels. I'll use those as a template for the new flooring and have the uh, tie downs. I'll might reuse some of that and the uh, plates, aluminum trim. So easy peasy. Now I'm going to move on to these door panels and uh, remove those. is out of the van obviously and uh, now what I want to do is I basically want to digitize the shape of the uh, Mercedes-Benz floor. Um, what I want to do is create a frame to go under the floor so I can raise it up put insulation underneath and then put the Mercedes floor back on top. Um, it's good strong plywood uh, might as well use it and uh, fits perfectly so basically uh, what I do is I use kind of a bit of a landscaping technique and I basically got the center line of the floor and uh, then I drilled a couple holes uh, here and here and then I've got a tape measure where I've just put a little pin in it and uh, you can see uh, I just put a nail in there at two inches and uh, what I do is I just drop this in and then measure the perimeter at specified points, particularly corners, and uh, then along the curve. You know, I take a lot of points around the curve, and uh, just do that. I take the center of all the uh, holes, and do that on the entire piece, and I do that twice. So I do it once at uh, that point, and once at this point, and then what you can do is basically recreate the shape of the item in CAD just by re uh, laying in all the points that were gathered. And since you have two points, you can accurately lay out the entire piece. Uh, so I'll show you how that looks. So basically, here's the map I made of the flooring to be able to lay this out in CAD. And just take a lot of data points, measurements. These are all two inches longer, so I take a couple inches off that and uh, did about 50 points and lays out the entire floor. And then by replaying these into uh, CAD, I'm able to basically get a perfect, uh, perfect CAD model so I can see and see it. So I use SketchUp to enter the data points and create the models. And basically this is finished, but how I created it is you create uh, the center line for the floor and I put holes in the floor to measure at three inches and 57 inches, and this maps that to that. And then I use the trilateration plugin, which basically allows you to, from these two points, um, enter the dimensions I recorded when I actually measured the points in my notebook, enter these in, and it traces out uh, uh, the point exactly. Then I just connect these points and connect them together and uh, create the outline of the object. It works great. If you'd like a detailed video on how I did this, uh, just let me know in the comments. I then used uh, SketchUp to convert that shape into a frame with three inch edges, uh, two inches on the inside here, so that becomes four, and just a two inch support bar there and a three inch support rail down the middle. Um, I also paid attention to where the ribs were on the van. The cent direct center is a void, so you want to avoid that. And ended up with uh, basically two four-foot sections and then about a three-foot section here in the back um, to finish it out. Then I took each four-foot section from SketchUp and pulled it into my VCarve uh, CNC software and take the outline and you create a uh, toolpath for the CNC machine to follow. And I did that three times for each, uh, each section of the frame. And I also did it for the foam pieces uh, with these voids. And that's how basically I 
hold it under the CNC machine. But we're ready to cut out the uh, material and just uh, set up the CNC machine with the uh, first piece, calibrated it, and got off to cutting it out. This is the middle section of the frame. And uh, when I pulled it off, just removed tabs and sanded it up a little bit. And uh, then I went on to the front section of the frame and, and cut that out. And then did the rear section of the frame. Then just had the uh, foam to uh, finish up. All right, so here we go. We, uh... All right, so here we, go. we uh, have the pieces all done. Here's the back section of the frame. And the front. And the middle. So these are ready to go in. And uh, we have all the foam cut out as well. So we're going to try and see if these things fit. Let's take a look. Well, that is very nice. Perfect. Okay, now for the foam panels. Uh, I left a bit of an offset on this so they'd fit in real nice and snug. Let's see how that worked. Oh, that's perfect. Awesome. The fit on these turned out really nice. Perfect fit. So I hope this shows the potential of using CNC uh, to build out a van. Um, the panels are extremely lightweight. Uh, you can be ex extremely precise. And uh, it ends up with a really nice finished product, which is great. Um, on my first van, I uh, used CNC to build the cabinets, very lightweight. I used three quarter inch plywood, but I'd cut out the centers of the panels to lighten them up and then uh, inset a piece of quarter inch and uh, that worked great. The cabinets turned out really strong and very light. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with this van. Um, and while you may think that CNC is not very accessible, well, it really is. There's plenty of people out there uh, that will do your CNC work for you. Uh, you can outsource that easily. And in fact, on my first van, that's exactly what I did. I had no problem with that at all. They'll uh, cut it out of any material you want. So it's a really good choice. And the only barrier is really learning how to do the design in SketchUp, which is actually really easy. I'll put a link to a video, which I love, that uh, shows you how to really use SketchUp for woodworking. OK, that's going to be it for this time. Uh, we have the insulated subfloor installed and uh, turned out great. Uh, next time, we're going to be installing uh, sound deadening, doing the insulation with Thinsulate. And uh, finishing up the floor with the uh, top piece of the floor uh, and the installation of L-Track. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.